So guys, today I'm back another video on the channel today. We're here for the Newcastle United vs Wolverhampton Wanderers preview. It's a massive game for both clubs. Wolves are going for top of the league. They, they, when they beat Newcastle, they will be second in the Premier League. Whilst Newcastle United have just been thrashed and had a terrible performance. So I'm not looking forward to this game on Sunday. Anyways lads, as we go into this game, we're going to look at Wolves, look at Newcastle, going into the game and it'll be a really interesting one because we haven't lost to Wolves since the famous clip of me saying I can't believe it man. And since then we've played them three times and we've drew 1-1 in every game. So a 1-1's written all over it but with the form we're in, definitely not. Make sure to leave a like lads, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If any Wolves fans are watching, make sure to subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot. I'm bringing out a predicted team and a, obviously the videos on the game, the reaction and the player ratings. Anyways, lads, let's get in the preview now. Let's start off by looking at Wolves. Wolves have had a decent start to the season. They've had a couple of scary games that you think, how they lost them. But they say a comfortable sixth position in the Premier League table for me. Good, good enough for them. They've sent some good players over the summer and it's been a successful start of the season for Wolves. Let's look at their last Premier League matches from this season. They started off the season with a 2-0 win away to Sheffield United, then got beat to Man City 3-1, got beat to West Ham United 4-0. A 1-0 win over relegation place Fulham and a good win against Leeds on Monday night 1-0. So when you look at their like, start of the season, it's changed, and it's changed since Kiltman has came in at centre-back for them. He looks comfortable, he got man of the match against Leeds, and they've kept two clean sheets since he's, came in, since he's came into the side. So, he's been a big factor for them, and for the last two weeks, he's had clean sheets, got the assist in the Leeds game, and got man of the match, and got three bonus points in FPL, and I've had, have had him on my bench both times. So, not been great, and he get, I've put him in the team against Newcastle, so... Oh, I don't know the mags win, but if, they, if he doesn't out, if he does something, great. But Bulls were no fantastic squad. They were in League One not too long ago. League One. Now they were in Europa League last season and got one of the most consistent strikers in the Premier League with a Barcelona right back that's won. Uh, I think he, I can't remember if he won a Champions League with Barcelona. I don't think he did. He won the league with them and whatnot. Uh, Semedo, great player. But as I said in the intro, last time we've played them, 1-1, 1-1, 1-1. So, I mean, can we get anything? We'll get onto Newcastle in a second. But when you look at Wolves, you look, when you look at what Nuno's done at Wolverhampton Wanderers, it's remarkable. You've got a you've got a manager who wants to attack teams. He's playing a three at the back, two left left wing backs, right wing backs. It's not a five back, you can tell. Semedo, he, he is a right back. But for me, he's more of a right winger. And then your two and your three forward players are a right forward, a left forward, and a striker that just stay up. He's attacking. He wants to attack. And, he, and no club in the Premier League have got a system like him. Three at the back, then wing backs, going forward. It's class, right? The, the dream of Newcastle United playing that football. That's what it should be. We should be playing like that. We should be playing that football. But we're not. Hoof balls to Callum Wilson. But looking at Wolves, right, the key thing is they are very solid. Midfield, Den Donker, great player. Ruben Neves, Jean Martinho, they've got squad depth. And that's a big thing in the Premier League. If you don't have a lot of players, well, obviously with COVID and whatnot, people have to self-isolate and stuff like that. They've got a good squad, a big squad as well. And that's what's really key for them getting Europa League last season and pushing on for it again this season. Any Wolves fans watching, let me know your thoughts going into the game on uh, Sunday. It's a 4 30 kickoff, so a little bit of a later one on a Sunday as well. But going into the game, let's hope we can get something. Let's look at Newcastle. So Newcastle United, as we know, last time out was embarrassing. You might look at it and go, oh it was Man United, there's just be PSG. It, it it wasn't about that. The fact is the way we performed was Embarrassing. Horrific. And the squad needs changed. A lot of the players. A lot of them. A lot. Right. Jeff Henrik. Out. Right. I'm not going to say who's going in. You might have an idea. Put it to you tomorrow. I don't want to spoil the video. But Henrik's got to go out for me. Is Darlow going to be okay? Is some of the injuries going to be okay? Is Isaac Hayden going to be fit? I'm recording this on Thursday. And it's going to go out Friday. So... If you're watching this and you've already read Super Press Conference, uh, I'm recording it on the Thursday. That's why. And then I'm then the predicted team, I'll know the full squad and whatnot. Uh, so he has a stat for you, lads. A surprising one. Ten players haven't been dribbled past in the Premier League 
Two of them are Jamal Lascelles and Federico Fernandez. Both were shocking on uh, Saturday night. But let's hope they can do it against Wolves. Arguably, I think, Man I think Wolves got a, a better attack on than Man United. And um, Have you seen what Man United have got? Bruno, Martial, uh, Rashford. Wolves, we've got to be scared of them. Adama coming at you. Uh, Pedro, Pedro Neto, Raul Jimenez. It's a really good attack. And we've, if we can't see them four to Man United, fuck knows how many it's going to be against Wolves. Especially being away from home. And I don't think, actually, we've lost a game away uh, this season, I don't think we'll have beat West Ham, Drew to Spurs, beat Morecambe, beat Newport, obviously on pens. Uh, I don't think we've lost an away game this season. So, fingers crossed, oh, I've just jinxed that there, haven't we? We're going to get beat 2-0. If we get beat 2-0, blame it on me. Get this clip on Twitter now. It's my fault. Fact. <laughs> I've just jinxed it this season. We haven't lost an away game this season. Oh, what's going to happen? Wolves are gonna be, get, we're going to get beat 2-0. That is my prediction as well. 2-0. Wolves, in my opinion, uh, with Jimenez getting a double. It's, it's, it's going to happen. We're going to get beat. Because look at the state we're in at the minute. Let's just hope for a bit of Maxi Magic. Let's just hope uh, some of the players who do come in for the players who are shit on Saturday do the job. Because we need them to. We need Almond Stone. We need Fraser Stone. We need them type of players who we've signed and we haven't, used, haven't been using them. But like what Callum Wilson said on FPL... Wilson and Fraser equal goals. Get that, right? Just say what you say, Wilson. Put them on the pitch. Oh, you can't because you've got Bruce's manager who thinks Jeff Henrik is a better winger than Ryan Fraser. Lads, that, I, I, I can't be arsed talking about Bruce. I really can't. I've got better things to do than speak to that ugly cunt, right? So, lads, that's the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The red button at the bottom, click it. Uh, thanks for 8k as well We're moving to 10k now 9k is going to be a nice goal to hit But it's not really a big goal We'll all be hitting 10k as soon as possible Can we get ooh, We're going to say 60 likes 60 likes on this video It would mean a lot Anyways lads I'll see you all in the next one The predicted team tomorrow Let's see who's going to be in general or not Anyways lads I'll see you all for the predicted team And the game on Sunday Thanks everyone Up the mags